Throughout 2024, we have seen another large range of changes coming to the Google Ads platform. And these changes are not gonna stop. With further changes being rolled out inside of Google Ads over the coming weeks and months, with two core ones being that demand gen will replace video action campaigns. So any video campaigns that you are using to drive conversions will automatically be updated to demand gen. And then of course, there's the new feature which many of us have been asking for, which allows us to add negative keywords directly to Performance Max campaigns. But right now, I wanna be really clear and state that those two changes, while they are big changes, are not the biggest changes that we will have to deal with with Google Ads in 2025. And in fact, the biggest change which is coming to Google Ads has nothing to do with what Google is doing inside of your Google Ads dashboard. Because the biggest change which is coming to Google Ads is how users will be interacting with Google Search. So what you really need to be aware of is that the largest changes which are affecting how you'll see success with Google Ads is outside of the Google Ads dashboard because as I said, it's got to do with the users. So there's people that you're trying to target with your Google Ads, how they interacting with search. Right now, 15% of all searches which occur in Google are new in that they've never been searched before. Plus, I'm sure that if you are reviewing your search term audits, so the search terms which are actually triggering your ads, especially if you're using broad match targeting, or even if you're only using phrase or exact match, you'll see that the search terms which are triggering conversions sometimes seem that they're not related to your product product or the service that you're marketing, but they're still converting. And you may be asking, why is this happening? And the reason for why this is happening is because that change which I was talking to you about is that search is becoming much more conversational. And because users are leaning into conversational search, this trend of brand new searches will only increase over the coming weeks, months, and years. For me personally, I think that number of 15% of all new searches being at the 15% level, that number will skyrocket very, very quickly. So this is why for continued success with Google Ads, you need to make sure that you are feeding the correct data back into your Google Ads campaigns. Because since Google Ads started, the way that you always saw success with Google Ads is reviewing the data and then making the correct optimizations to leverage that data so that you can get the best results for your campaigns. With the core message being that inaccurate conversion data leads to poor campaign performance and ultimately wasted ad spend within your Google Ads campaigns, which is something that no one wants. Now, if you're a regular watcher of my YouTube channel, you will know that I very rarely endorse any external products. In fact, this is only the second time that I've ever endorsed a product. But after testing HubSpot's integration with Google Ads over the past 12 months in a wide variety of different Google Ads accounts, we've been able to see firsthand that this extra data that the integration with HubSpot and Google Ads provides allows us to make better better optimization decisions, which drives better performance in our Google Ads campaigns. And let me just share one example. In one of the accounts where we've used HubSpot's integration with Google Ads in order to feed first-party data, so we're feeding back those conversion value data back into that Google Ads account, we've been able to scale the account spending from $16,000 a month all the way up to $28,000 a month while also seeing better conversion metrics. Now, if you've been involved in Google Ads for any amount of time, you will know that sometimes conversion tracking can get a little bit tricky, but it is something which is so powerful because when you have the correct conversion data feeding back into your Google Ads campaigns, you can make the best optimization decisions with confidence. But over the past months and years, this has been getting a little bit harder due to increased government regulations and the removal of device data sharing. But for us, the solution has been using HubSpot's integration with Google Ads, because as I said, that allows us to feed back in that valuable first party data back into Google Ads so that in our Google Ads campaigns, we are seeing the actual conversion data, which is coming from each of our individual leads and form inquiries. Now, if you're not a 100% sure of what I'm talking about here, or if this is confusing you a little bit, or you're just really, really interested to find out more about how you can use first party data to improve the performance of your Google Ads campaigns. So what I want you to do is after you finish watching this video, check out the description where you can access a free download called the State of Data Driven Advertising by HubSpot. And as I said, you can get a free download of that report 
just by following the link in the description below. For me, what I love in this report is not only the extra information that it gives about first party data on how it works and why it's so important is the actionable strategies that you can use to actually leverage the data that you get in your Google Ads campaigns to improve the performance for your clients. So as I said at the top of this video, the biggest change coming to Google Ads is the changing nature of search. Remember, when I say the changing nature of search, what I mean by that is how users are actually completing their searches. And for me, this is becoming a core message because unfortunately, too many advertisers are not fully thinking about the large change which is coming to the search market. And remember, as I said, it's got nothing to do with what you're seeing inside of Google Ads. It's all about the way that people are going to be searching and that searching is gonna be much more conversational, which is gonna drive a large increase in new searches. So for me, for continued success in Google Ads now, and also over the coming weeks and months, for me, it's all about not relying 100% on high intent search campaigns. And I know that for many advertisers, this is a big step because since Google Ads started, success with Google was by having highly relevant ads and highly relevant landing pages back to the user's core search because what Google wanted to achieve and still wants to achieve, it wants to show highly relevant ads, sending people to highly relevant landing pages from their initial search inquiry. Now, I'm not saying that high intent marketing is going away, and I still believe that it's gonna be a core driver for success with Google Ads. But what I am saying, because the nature of search is changing, advertisers will have to start leaning in on some of these new types of campaigns which Google Ads is releasing. And what we've really been seeing with success with Google Ads is by having a campaign structure which does not rely 100% on high intent search marketing. And we're gonna jump into a screen share so I can show you what I mean. So what I want to talk to you about here is that the solution for high intent only targeting is to leverage the different types of Google Ads campaigns. And what I'm calling this is a full funnel approach to marketing. As I said before, since Google Ads started, Google Ads was very much focused on what we would call bottom of the funnel marketing, where people would complete a search and then we would show up highly relevant ads and send them through to highly relevant landing pages. Now, as I said, that is not going to be going away and it's going to become an important part of a total Google Ads strategy. And remember, as we're saying, what's driving this change is the way that these automated tools and conversational based search is it's changing the way that people search. And what this will mean is that as people will be having more of a conversation rather than just typing in different keywords is that successful marketers will not just be relying on this high intent keywords because remember my very strong prediction is that the number of new searches which is currently 15% is gonna get much, much higher. So the way that we're building at success is that we're using this full funnel approach and we're doing it by leveraging the different types of Google Ads campaigns. Now, as I said, it does not mean that search is going away and search will still be a really foundational element of your campaign campaigns. But what is becoming really, really clear is that for success, you need to also add in some extra campaigns. And the way that we build this out is that with our middle of the funnel, we're using different performance max and video campaigns and also some dynamic search campaigns. And remember, the reason for why we're confident for doing this is because if you're using that first party data and feeding it back into your Google Ads accounts, performance max is a great campaign when you've got accurate conversion data in your account. So if you've got accurate conversion data in your Google Ads account, coming off your search campaigns, you can then leverage that conversion data to start reaching out to new audiences or new demographics or new search terms because we've got enough data that Google knows what is going to convert. And then from there, you can even take this even further up to the top of the funnel where you're using things like your demand gen and video campaigns, once again, leveraging that first party data. So the take home message is, is that if you want to see continued success with Google Ads in this new and upcoming environment where users are going to be using more and more conversational search, which is going to be increasing the amount of new searches, so search terms which have never been searched before, you need to make sure that you're not just using that bottom of a funnel approach where you're just leaning on search campaigns to target highly relevant search terms. As I said, that's not going away, but for success, you need to build on those highly targeted search campaigns with the new type of campaigns in and around performance max, demand gen, and also really leaning into broad match keywords. But for me, that can only happen in a profitable way if you're using that first party data. 
So to wrap this all up, what I wanna do is I wanna give you a reminder. Remember, if you wanna get all that extra information about first party data and get that free download of the state of data driven advertising by HubSpot, make sure you follow that link in the description below. And when you're in that description below, you can also get access to my updated Google Ads optimization checklist. And this is a checklist which I use, which lays out all of the different optimization actions that you need to complete for all of the different types of Google Ads campaigns. So search, shopping, performance max, video display and even demand gen and to get access to that updated google ads checklist just follow the link in the description below thank you so much for joining me it's been an absolute pleasure having you here and if you want to see a case study of how we actually leveraged this first party data through hubspot's integration to google ads i want you to go through and check out this video right here see you next time